Hey guys, how's it going? Pete Mercer here. So, let's get to mobility. The whole point of this is to improve your end range of motion and make things a lot easier because you'll be more flexible and you'll feel looser and it'll stop things like shoulder pops and cracks when you're doing um, bench or tricep things. It'll help uh, open up your hips. If you're doing squats, you won't feel as tight or get those nasty stretches and different things like that there. So, that's what I'm working with here. Um, I'm going to start from the bottom, work my way up. So, number one, we're going to go with squat mob. So, <clears throat> best way to improve your squatting is the squat. So you'll need something to stop you falling over from imbalance. Um, so basically what you want to do, feet forward, um, not pointing upwards as if you're going to squat. Trust me, it helps. And then just squat down. Now you can use anything to keep you uh, from falling over, like a, a homemade squat rack, for example. Or you can use dumbbell, weight plate, kettlebell, whatever you want. So I've got a 10k plate here, which is like <clears throat> 24 pounds. Um, so feet shoulder width apart, facing forward, boom, squat, and um, we're just going to hang out here. So how we're going to do this is we're going to use our arms and just push our knee caps out, and that is going to um, it's going to open your hip flexor, and it's going to straighten your trunk, so you get in a nice solid, strong back position, and this is just going to feel really, really nasty. So get used to it; the pain's good, but don't show it. That's an important thing. Your legs have got nothing to do with your face, so don't make any pain faces. And so the whole point of this one is open up your hip capsule and that'll really help you when you're going uh, deep um, because things will be as tight and as nasty. So you're going to be doing these for at least two minutes. That's when things are going to open up, loosen up and you're going to feel a lot better for it. Anything less than that, yes you can get benefit but you really, really, gonna, you really want to be going two minutes and further. So next thing's next, we're going to work on quads. So find yourself a wall, back your shit up into it. Boom, done. Get your legs straight and put your other one like this and push down, there you go, quad stretch, that's a great quad stretch, I think it's the best you can do in your room without someone else, you want to put a bit more tension on it, squeeze your glute, lean forward and keep keep uh, you know, pushing that range of motion and keep trying to get further, that's what's going to make the difference, the more range of motion you've got the better everything is going to be, if you really want to put um, that special bit of strain on it, put your torso up like this, oh yeah that's a special kind of pain, right there, that's Oh, really nasty. I hate that one, but it's the best way you're going to do it. So again, you want to do two minutes on either leg, and that's going to help. So that's pretty much it um, for this mobility one on squats. So um, push your knees out. It's going to open up the hip capsule. It'll make it feel a lot nicer when you're sitting deep in that squat position. Stretch your quads out, which means it'll be a lot looser, a lot more supple to go bam, and I'll give you that um, strength to get back up again. And that's pretty much it. Those are the main things you want to work on when you're doing squats. So when it comes to actually doing it, feet out, legs tracking your feet, and boom, down. And you're in a strong position. Um, you can keep your back um, nice and straight, torso strong, legs wide, and you can get deep. That's going to feel a lot better. So those are the main things to, to think about. Push your mobility further than you can go. Reach that end range of motion. Hang out for at least two minutes. That's going to help loosen everything up. That's pretty much it. That's what you're going to do. I'm going to do a whole bunch of these, hopefully. Uh, I'm doing the specific two um, different lifts and movements they're going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to try and do these. I know a lot of people um, recommend doing things with jump or resistance bands and lacrosse balls. Those are things that I highly recommend, and I might do things in the future with them. But this is going to be for just your everyday guy who goes to the gym who doesn't have access to different things like that there. So I'm going to try and do the, the most effective <coughs> um, mobility things you can do with the least amount of accessories and tools to use. So, I'm going to try and do it as easy as possible. That's it for the squat mob. Uh, don't know what's coming next, but there you go. So, that should help a little bit. Tell me how it goes. So, thanks for watching. I'm Pete Mercer. Take it easy.